talk to me, Sophia, about the ways in which you are creating this new power dynamic in the world. No pressure, wow, <laughs> okay. Um, How is meaning and money work for you? What I think is really important is to acknowledge, and, and I learned this lesson by working in so many nonprofit spaces and working in so many philanthropic spaces for so long and seeing that advocacy is great, fundraising yes. is great, Yes. but all the fundraising campaigns I've done over the years require people to give us money, whether that's to build schools or to fund initiatives or to you know rally for environmental causes. And some people are capable of just writing these big fat checks that most of us are not. And I was struck by learning about their lives, learning about their businesses and realizing, you know, big time investors who are philanthropists have seats at tables that most of us do not. Yes. And if we're not present in the decision making rooms, how are those decisions being made? Uh, I think we can all look at the current political landscape and understand that if women aren't present in decision-making rooms, we end up with healthcare systems that cover Viagra but not birth control, interesting. Um, <laughs> we, we also realize, for Nia and I, when, when and, and Katie, our other co-founder, when we were talking about this sort of reinvigoration of Detroit, this re-establishing of this great American city, where were women at that table? Yes. Where were women of color at that table? Were they being centered in those conversations? And it was incredibly important for us as a very diverse company to make sure that we were in those rooms because where was everybody else who looks like us? I love that you two are a sisterhood, right? That your friendship came before the business, came before your passion, came before your purpose in life. I think that all of that um, has added such depth and strength um, to your activism and to your entrepreneurship. Mm. Nia, I have to ask you this. Can you even be an entrepreneur these days without being an activist? I mean, I think it's very hard to do so. The great thing about business and entrepreneurship is you're able to be solutions oriented. Yes. It's a very solutions oriented activity. You see a problem you want to change in the world. Exactly and a unique approach in which to change it, like a way in which you see the world that no one else does or other people do, but their you know, voice and their vision hasn't been represented. And I think for us, that's what was really important about the model for Detroit Flows, is that we understood that beauty is a very big industry, it's also a very segregated industry. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't really a reflection of our experience in a service-based business. We wanted to build an inclusive business that was also non-toxic. I got my blow dry this morning and the non-toxic piece was incredibly important for us to talk about. Yeah. But what I wanna talk about is why is beauty important? Because the beauty business is one of those that people are very often like, oh, that's nice, it's just lipstick and it's just hair curlers <laughs> and what it really is, is diversity and inclusion and validation and real business. Mm. Talk to me about why beauty was important to you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, we have so many things to say. Well, first of all, I love that any, any business that is deemed to be sort of for women uh, gets looked at as though it's frivolous. Everyone uses beauty products, men included, non-binary people included. It's incredibly important for us to acknowledge this, and I think it's incredibly important for us to acknowledge the financial impact of the beauty and services industry as well. You know, we're not talking about lipstick. We're talking about multi-billions of dollars being spent every year. So people who call, you know, what we all partook in this morning, like, just lipstick, need to take several <laughs> seats. But By the way, we talked about business. <laughs> yes, while we're, we're sitting in the ready. salon talking about like investment strategy and what round you want to get in on companies. And, you know, it's important for us to, to have and to have created that space. And Nia spoke to it so well. 
For us, it was about getting in the game, not just as two activists and best friends, but realizing that if we want to have these conversations and if we want to have impact on these spaces that are making decisions for society and making decisions for us, that we needed to be present in those spaces. We needed to not only be raising money for other people's work or advising other people's companies or running other people's fundraisers, we needed to create our own space. And when Nia brought me this idea and said, am I crazy that I think we can establish a for-profit company and a charitable, what's the word I'm looking for, yeah. endeavor Movement. at the same time. I, she was like, am I nuts? I was like, you're brilliant. I'm so proud that you're my best friend. You're the smartest person I know, let's do this. So you can speak yeah. really well to that. Well, just for, for us, one is not divorced from the other. Mm -hmm. like, and so we have an incredible opportunity to utilize these resources, but also to redistribute them as well. And money carries energy, and I think that that's something that we're very cognizant about. You know, who is invested in our company and, you know, the clients that we have on the footprint, their dollars, they are spending them. Um, they're making a choice to show that they believe and are invested in not just the service-based business that delivers very good service, but <laughs> also in the idea that we want to reinvest in women and girls in the community as well. And so the reinvestment arm of our business, Detroit Grows, is Detroit Grows, <laughs> is I think part of the business that we're most proud of because it allows us to also support the businesses that um, are doing really important and impactful work that might be adjacent to ours, but as we focus on ours, we want to make sure that we, with our widened aperture, have the um, opportunity to support other entrepreneurs, other founders, other people that are seeing around corners that we aren't yet and making sure that they feel supported as well.